Queen Elizabeth II was a famous monarch who reigned for 70 years. She is credited with having the longest reign in both global and British history. She lived in beautiful palaces and had great influence and connections with world leaders. Her Majesty no doubt lived a very privileged lifestyle to the extent that she had a private cash machine at her disposal. Even though she was one of the most famous people on earth with a whole lot of privileges, there were certain everyday things that the Queen could not do. So keep watching to find out the things that Queen Elizabeth II was never able to do. Number 1. Queen Elizabeth couldn't share her political opinions. Queen Elizabeth II had to remain neutral on all political issues. As the monarch, her stance on political issues, if echoed, could create chaos as she might be termed as bias. Hence, Queen Elizabeth II was very careful in her statements about political matters or her personal opinion on political issues outside of the palace walls. Even though Queen Elizabeth II didn't share her political views outside, she was known to have given great political advice to her Prime Ministers during their weekly meetings, but this certainly was in private and within the palace walls. Number 2. Queen Elizabeth II couldn't vote However, no written law barred the Queen from voting, but she just wasn't able to vote as it wasn't done. The UK Parliament website states that while it's not illegal, it is unconstitutional for the monarch to participate in elections. This was not just applicable to the Queen, but all royals. Royals aren't allowed to vote. Number 3. Queen Elizabeth II wasn't allowed to be touched by a commoner. In case you have envisioned hugging or holding your favourite royal, when you finally see them, you should erase that vivid imagination from your mind. Just like any other member of the royal family, Queen Elizabeth II wasn't an exception. The late Queen wasn't allowed to be touched by common folk. According to Reuters, making personal contact with the British monarch is considered one of the greatest taboos surrounding the monarch. It's best not to initiate personal physical contact with a member of the royal family. Although the Queen broke this tradition a few times, one of them was when she reciprocated Michelle Obama's touch on her shoulder by placing her hand on Obama's back. Despite being a royal, the Queen was human too. If you want to be part of our family, quickly subscribe to our channel so we can keep spilling the royal tea. Number 4. The Queen has never been allowed to talk freely to whomever she likes to at dinner parties. For most of us, occasions like dinner parties are a perfect time to discuss with friends and loved ones and also catch up with old relations. We are allowed to laugh all we can and even discuss with someone across the table. Queen Elizabeth II was never able to do this. Queen Elizabeth starts dinner by speaking to the person on her right before moving to the person on her left. And yelling across the table is not permitted at the palace. Number 5. Queen Elizabeth was never allowed to eat these things. The next time you hear someone say that they are dining like a queen or a king, remember that there are certain restrictions. Queen Elizabeth II wasn't able to eat or drink whatever she wanted. Some foods are strictly out of bounds for the royals. Queen Elizabeth II and even other members of the British royal family are not allowed to eat shellfish, garlic or even drink tap water, among a variety of other items. According to BBC News, the shellfish restriction is in place to prevent gastrointestinal problems that can interfere with public appearances. For the same reason, foreign tap water is not permitted. Number 6. Queen Elizabeth wasn't allowed to show any form of public display of affection. As Queen, 
one would assume Queen Elizabeth II would be free to embrace or touch hands with whoever she pleased. But this wasn't the case, as Queen Elizabeth wasn't allowed to show any form of PDA. The late Queen Elizabeth II kept things strictly professional in public and was rarely seen showing any form of public display of affection to her husband, Prince Philip. Number 7. Queen Elizabeth wasn't allowed to sign autographs. Queen Elizabeth II was indeed a great and influential woman, just like other influential people who can easily sign their autographs when they came across their fans or people who admire them greatly. Queen Elizabeth II wasn't allowed to sign her autograph. Aside from Queen Elizabeth II, every member of the royal family is banned from signing their names for fans. This is to avoid any form of forgery of signature. Although this rule has been broken by a few royals, Queen Elizabeth II rarely signed an autograph for anyone. Because Queen Elizabeth's signature is so rare, the Daily Mail reported in 2020 that an ancient 1954 Christmas card from the Queen and her husband Prince Philip was worth an astounding £4,500, about $5,800. So, from the look of things, the only way to get the late Queen Elizabeth's autograph is to get yourself an old Christmas card. Number 8. Queen Elizabeth couldn't cross her legs when she sat down. Another thing Queen Elizabeth II wasn't able to do was cross her legs while she sat. While almost every female does not see anything wrong in crossing their legs while they sit, it's a no-no for females of the royal family. Queen Elizabeth II could only sit in the Duchess slant position. With the Duchess slant, one is expected to keep both knees firmly together while tilting the legs to the side. Imagine not being able to sit freely like you want, all because of royalty. Number 9. Queen Elizabeth II never attended a formal school. With all the Queen's intelligence, it's surprising to know that Queen Elizabeth II never saw the walls of a formal school nor came into contact with other learners. Like many other royals during her time, Queen Elizabeth II and her sister, Princess Margaret, were homeschooled by prominent tutors. She started studying constitutional history and law after her father ascended to the throne in 1936, and Henry Martin, the Vice Provost of Eton College, was her tutor. Number 10. Queen Elizabeth was never allowed to drive herself to royal functions, nor without protection. Everyone is aware of Queen Elizabeth II's passion for luxury cars, with Land Rovers being her favourite. Just like she loves cars, she also loves to drive herself. However, the Queen could not do this as often as she wished. The Queen and any other members of the royal family going for official duties have to be driven to and from their appointments. Even when the Queen drives by herself, she's never alone. There are always armed protection officers around her, so the Queen didn't get the opportunity of driving alone on an open road like the rest of us. Number 11. The Queen has never been out in public without armed bodyguards. Aside from always driving with protection, Queen Elizabeth II was never out publicly without her armed bodyguards. As the monarch of the British people, the Queen's safety was a top priority, and it is the same for all royals. As reported by the Mirror, each royal is always guarded by up to five highly trained armed officers. With all the royal privileges of being Queen, Queen Elizabeth II couldn't just walk out alone in public. Number 12. Queen Elizabeth II never had the freedom to select her children's names. Choosing a baby name from a range of options until you find the right one is one of the most enjoyable aspects of being pregnant. Sadly, unlike the majority of us, Queen Elizabeth II 
didn't enjoy this luxury. Selecting a royal baby's name is a big deal, as the name has to acknowledge history while paying respect to relatives. Queen Elizabeth II had four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward. All their names were carefully selected in consideration of royal history. Hence, royal babies always have multiple names. For example, King Charles has three middle names. His full name is Charles Philip Arthur George. It's very obvious that compared to the rest of us, Queen Elizabeth had a pretty odd experience naming her children. What do you think about Queen Elizabeth II and all the things she was never able to do in her lifetime? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Click here to watch more videos and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.